the LA Dodgers. Oh. Come on. They've lost five straight series for the first time in four years. Yeah. Five and 15 in their last 20. I'm going to give you my first take on the Dodgers. I go right to the bullpen. Yeah. Again, we're talking about pitchers' injuries, yeah. right? This is not the same bullpen because we knew they had depth, but it's being really tested. So the Dodgers last year had a great bullpen. They lost 11 games all year. They've already lost, I think, seven this season. Only the Twins have lost more games that late. And the other thing that stands out at me besides ERA, we'll start with that, right? Last year, only Oakland had a better bullpen ERA than the Dodgers. When I think about bullpens, I don't know if you look at this, Dan. For me, relief pitchers have to keep the ball in the ballpark and don't walk anybody. You generally don't get beat by a lot of hits strung together. Last year, you look at the strikeout to walk rate, which I like to look at. They were second baseball. This year, the 28th, the LA Dodgers. So, you know, they're losing close games. But to me, the starting pitching has been fine, even with some injuries. Dustin May, of course, gone for the season with Tommy John. But... I go to the bullpen. What do you see with the Dodgers? Yeah, they're bullpen and they're, and they're not hitting. Uh, this is really shocking to see them go 5-15 and 15 over a 20-game stretch. I mean, you know, I don't think I was the only one. I was looking at the 98 Yankees for this team. I, I thought this was potentially one of the greatest teams of all time. If you have a stretch like this, they're not going to be in that category. Uh, can they win the World Series still? Sure they can. I mean, eventually they're going to get Bellinger back. They're going to get a lot of these pieces back. Mays out, as you said. But... Their starting pitching depth was the best in baseball going in. That lineup, arguably the best in baseball going in, it's not producing. I, I think they can live with an average bullpen if the lineup is together and producing. Right now, Justin Turner is performing to his career norm. Basically, no one else is. Yeah, they got a ways to go before they get to average with that bullpen. By yeah. The way. John, not to disagree with you, but I will, is that their OPS plus is number one in the National League. They've hit inconsistent, but they overall, their offensive numbers have actually been as good or better than anybody in the National League. They've just been inconsistent with that. I think that's small sample size theater, and I do believe that will turn around. Their record in one-run games is very alarming to me, and it gets back to Tom's point. They have a bullpen that doesn't strike people out. They're 10th in the National League in strikeouts, and they're walking 5.21 walks per nine. That adds up to a lot of one-run losses. And what one-run losses do, uh, it puts a lot of pressure on your offense because your offense is constantly trying to add points on because they don't trust the bullpen to be able to hold close games. That becomes eventually a confidence thing on your ball club right now. And I'll tell you, Tom, and you know this, it's very difficult to fix your bullpen as you go along. And we'll talk about, like, the Dodgers will go out and make moves. The Dodgers' farm system is not what it once was. It's just an attrition factor when you're that good for that long a period of time. You don't have the same upper-level prospect depth that you have that you used to have. And, um, you know, I, I think this is a real problem for them to figure out their bullpen. They will not win unless Greater All comes back healthy or Canable comes back healthy. The two major moves that they, you know, the one major move they made this offseason, the other guy they were banking on to take the next step in his career, that, that's a real concern for me at this point. Now it's my turn to disagree with you. Sure, great. One, one run games, they're flukish. Four and ten, I mean, that's, it's so early. I'm not really putting much stock in yeah. it. 2016 Cubs, world champions, 22 and 23, one run games. 14 Giants, 18 and 22. If you're GM watching your team, did you fret over losing one run games? Because they can go either way. I'd, he, I'd be concerned about getting blown out. I would fret over everything. Fret it over so everything. You know him. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Is that, you know, Tommy, when it becomes uh, an issue where it affects the confidence of your ball club to win run run games, it does become an issue. I know they're fluky, and I know they don't. You look at them from year to year, there's no pattern, there's no rhyme, there's no reason to it. But you really want to win some of those close one-run games to get the belief in your club that you actually can win those games. I mean, this team should have belief. I mean, I, I understand they're in a rough stretch now, but they've got to believe they're going to be a playoff team and a very good one. I'm going to be shocked. I mean, you mentioned the offense, though. If you look at their star players, and they have, to me, four of the best 25 players in the game positionally. I know Turner is performing, but Seager, he might be he's hitting in bad luck, but he's not doing what he, what he normally does. Bellinger, he's been out. And Betts really ha – Betts is the second best player in the game. He has not been that guy. And that's why point. I'm not worried if about their have, offense because I think all those guys yeah, – I wouldn't worry about this team. I wouldn't – the whole team is going to be good. The only issue I'm we're, telling we're, you is bullpens are think, hard to fix. I think we're wasting our breath here. This team is going to win 100 games. Bullpens are 100 right at now. this point, and we'll see. We'll see. 